Content packs in ForeFlight provide an easy way to import, use, and share sets of custom content. Content packs can include custom airport, procedure, and geo-reference charts. KML map layers containing shapes, points, and labels, and navigation data that links custom waypoints to viewable PDF files. Content packs are supported for all Individual Plus plans and for Business Performance and MFB Performance plans. Visit forflight.com slash content packs to download our sample packs that you can use for inspiration and to help guide you when building your own. The sample content pack includes examples of all supported data types, including a map of major Texas landmarks and the associated Wikipedia pages for each one. The Maine Lighthouses pack shows every lighthouse in the state of Maine with linked photographs, demonstrating how you can turn images into PDFs for use in content packs. The Abandoned Airfields pack identifies 11 closed historical airfields in the U.S. With geo-referenced aerial maps and informative documents for each one. Finally, the UAS Facilities and Restrictions pack shows the FAA's altitude restrictions for drone operations around major airports. The pack also includes two standalone documents with legends for reading the color coded altitudes. For this video, we'll use the sample content pack as an example. Extract the zip file and open the folder to see the pack's contents. Content packs can have up to three subfolders containing different types of custom content. None of them are required but any that you include must use the folder names you see here to be recognized by ForeFlight. BYOP, short for Bring Your Own Plates, is for custom PDF documents that will appear in the Airport Procedures tab and in the Plates view. These can be anything from private procedure plates or airport diagrams to personal notes or photographs of the airport. Any PDF will work. Every file name must start with the airport's identifier, followed by the procedure category that it will be grouped in, like airport, arrival, or departure, followed by the name of the procedure as you want it to appear in ForeFlight. The Layers folder is for custom map layers that appear in the Layer Selector. There are two major types of layers to work with, geo-reference charts using the MB Tiles format, and vector data layers using the KML or GeoJSON formats. The easiest way to make your own MB tiles charts is to use the free program Map Tiler to geo-reference PDFs and export them as MB tiles. You can make your own KML files using many different programs, including Google My Maps and Google Earth, or download KML files from elsewhere. Once in ForeFlight, Geo-reference charts appear at the bottom of the left column, while vector data layers appear at the bottom of the right column. The nav data folder is for waypoint files and documents, either standalone or associated with a waypoint. The waypoint files can be either KML or CSV, but only KML files allow custom waypoint styling. The document files can be either PDFs, or TXT files containing plain text or HTML code, which you can easily create by changing the extension of an HTML file to TXT. To associate a document with a waypoint, the document's file name must start with the exact name of the waypoint, followed by the name of the document as it will appear in ForeFlight. You can enable nav data layers just as you would a normal KML layer and access the linked documents by tapping on a waypoint and tapping the document name under associated information. These waypoints also appear in searches even if you don't have the layer selected. Finally, the manifest is an optional file containing details about a content pack, like its name, 
version number, and the name of the organization or person who created it. If you don't include a manifest, then ForeFlight will simply use the content pack's file name to reference it in the app. The manifest won't be necessary for most people, but if you do want to include one, just modify our sample manifest using a plain text editor like TextEdit on macOS and save it as manifest.json. With the pack's contents ready, compress the parent folder into a zip file. You can import content packs into ForeFlight via iTunes, email, AirDrop, hyperlink, or using the Cloud Documents feature if you have a Pro Plus plan or above. To import via Cloud Documents, add a folder named Content Pack inside the folder you use to import documents to ForeFlight, and move content packs to that new folder to make them available for download in ForeFlight. Once a content pack is imported to ForeFlight, it appears in More, Custom Content. Tap on it to view its details and component files. You can tap on Document and BYOP files to view them directly, and tap the Send to Map button next to Chart and Map files to load them on the map. The contents of a pack cannot be shared or deleted individually, but you can share the pack as a whole using the Send To button in the top right, and delete it using the Delete button at the bottom of the page. Content packs are a powerful tool that individuals and organizations can use to share important content and enhance their mission planning and in-flight capabilities. Visit foreflight.com slash content packs to learn more.